Okay, I think we should start the session now. The first question is, which of the following is used for serial access storage only? RAM, magnetic disk, core memory or magnetic tape? Okay, let me know the answer. Which is used for serial access storage? The correct answer to this question is option D, magnetic tape. Okay, here they are asking only for serial access. Okay, that data will be accessed only in order one after the other. That happens only in magnetic tape because it is a medium for magnetic recording made of thin magnetizable coating. Okay, narrow strips, strips ke form mein hoti ho. Okay, and here data is accessed in a serial order. Okay, next. Electronic funds transfer system make use of our, of MICR mark sensing, quarter punch or none of the above. Electronic funds transfer system. You, you know that through internet banking, we transfer uh, funds or our, our amount, our money is being transferred. So what do they use? The correct answer here is Option A, MICR, an input device which can read characters directly from an ordinary paper is OCR, OMR, MSI or POS. The correct answer here is option A, OCR. See, it is the technology used to distinguish between printed and handwritten text inside digital images. Okay, so this is being used. Okay, next question. Why would a switch be used in a network in preference to a hub? To reduce network traffic to prevent the spread of all viruses, to connect the computer directly to the internet, to manage password security at a workstation. Why is switch used instead of hub? The correct answer here is to reduce network traffic. Okay. Okay, one thing I would like to tell you. Uh, hubs basically, uh, friends, these are just dumb devices, okay. Okay, they do not have any intelligence. So what happens is, whatever data they really, they get, this is a hub. Okay. So if these are different computers. So if one computer is sending data to the hub, what it will do is, it will send it to all the computers in the network. Okay, maybe computer C1 wants to send data to computer C2. So what it, but what hub will do? Because it is dumb, it does not have any intelligence. It will just transfer the messages to all the computers present in the network. So what happens here is, it is the task of switch to manage this and it is used it is semi-intelligent basically see hubs they are least intelligent then we have switch these are semi-intelligent and then we have router the most intelligent among these so to reduce network traffic what will happen is if um, all the data that is going to the hub if it is going to all the computers to all the computers present in the network what will happen traffic will be increased to reduce this what we do is we replace hub with a switch 
and it helps you to reduce network drag. Okay. A set of standards to handle voice and computer data and telephone networks providing additional telephone capabilities without scraping existing compute upper telephone line is called Internet Service Provider, Internet Protocol Network, Integrated Service Provider or Integrated Service Digital Network. Okay, the correct answer here is option A, Internet Service Provider. A combination of hardware and software which links two parts of the same LAN or two compatible LANs by directing messages to the correct node is called Embedded System, Router, Hybrid Computer or Microprocessor. Okay, let me know. The correct answer here is router. We discussed this in previous question that routers are intelligent devices that connect networks and they can manage the network very well. Okay. A combination of hardware and software, remember, which link two parts of the same LAN or two compatible LANs. The correct answer is, so you remember, most intelligent router, then we have switch and the least intelligent or the dumb devices, those are hubs. So most preferable is the router. Temp file is transit file. Transitional file, temporary file, or transfer file. What is temp file? The correct answer here is option C, temporary file. Okay, it is temp file means that file, that temporary file which is created to hold information. Okay, what it does? It Holds information. When when does it hold? While a file is being modified. Okay. Being modified or created. Got it friends? You know that many times a lot of M files get saved into our systems. So sometimes when our system gets slow, what we do is we delete all those temp files and it helps with the speed. So this is what a temp file is. VOIP means voice over internet protocol, voice on intranet procedure, void offer internet procedure, valid offer and programs. Very simple question. The correct answer is voice over internet protocol. So this is used. Okay, this is a IP technology for the delivery of voice communication friends. Remember voice communication and this is used uh, for voice communication and multimedia sessions over IP protocol. Okay, next. DNS means debug number system, domain natural system, debugging name system or domain name system. Here they are asking the full form of DNS. The correct answer here is domain name system option D like it is like a phone book for the internet friends okay what it does is um, it transfers uh, the name of the website 
to its IP address. Okay, so uh, like you you know that uh, www.google.com. So that is the name uh, that you see. It also has an IP address associated with it. So what do you do is instead of re re remembering that IP address, you remember the domain name system. Next. Which one of the following is correct? So you have to uh, do this conversion and see. So this is, let's try this, the simplest one. Okay. Two divided by 20, 10, 2 divided by 2, 5 is the remainder 0, 2 divided by 5 will give you 2, remainder 1, 2, 1 and remainder 0. So this is how you convert from decimal to binary. You were given here these numbers. Okay, I chose this 20. I could have used 10 also. So, let's see what the answer we will get here. I hope friends you know how to convert from decimal to binary. See, this number here, it represents that this is in binary. Oh, sorry, this is in decimal. This is in binary. So let's uh, do this. When we converted it like this, the option, the remainders that we get, we will arrange this in reverse order. Always remember that answer is taken in reverse order. So it is one zero one double zero, not zero zero one zero one. It is one zero one double zero. The correct answer is option C. Next, firewall means a software program or piece of hardware between computer and internet connection, a software program between printer and memory chip, a device to create fire on the wall or a virus. See, this is the lame option. Just cancel it. The correct answer here is Option A, a software program or piece of hardware between computer and internet connection. See, what happens is when you are working in a company, remember friends, in whenever you are working in an organization, data security is very important. So, because in a company, there is very confidential information, the in, in important information about various, about the data, about employees' data or the finances. So what happens is the company doesn't want others who are not working in the company to look, look into what, the, what is going on inside the computer. So what we do is we protect it use, using a firewall. And what firewall will do? It will distinguish who is a authorized access and who does not have a, a and person having unauthorized access. Okay. Jaysay aap samaj sakte hai ki uh, people who work in a company they got they have their ID cards jisko wo swipe karte hai. Whenever they cl click on that machine they put the card on the machine. Ki, agar aapko access hota hai to aap andar jate hai. Agar aapko access nahi hota to aap andar nahi jate. So that card is used to protect physical access, usi tarike se, this computer access ko protect karne ke liya, ya network ko protect karne ke liye, we put a firewall, okay, to distinguish the users. Next. Which of the following represents 1 billion characters? Megabyte, kilobyte, gigabytes or terabytes? 
the correct answer here is option C gigabytes because it has 1 billion 1 GB has got 1 billion bytes okay hence the answer next PDF is an abbreviation of portable directory file portable document file portable deleted file or portable domain file the correct answer here is portable document file pdf is used for like uh, sharing information and it is a non editable file when you don't want the other person to edit it we use a pdf okay pdf se ye bhi yaad aaya if you want the pdf of this file of this video lecture you can download it after the session okay the input code of the compiler and assembler is called object code source code machine code or compiler code the input code the correct answer here is option b source code see source code ka matlab hota hai that code that we are writing as a programmer for instance jab ek author hota hai kisi book ka so what he writes he writes stories in whatever language that he knows okay but programmers kya karte hain wo code जो हम कंप्यूटर को प्रोवाइड करते हैं टू आर कंपाइलर्स दैट इज कॉल्ड सोर्स कोड एंड इट इज रिटर्न इन हाई लेवल लैंग्वेज व्हाट आर हाई लेवल लैंग्वेज फ्रेंड्स सी यू माइट हैव हर्ड ऑफ सी प्लस प्लस जावा ओके सी डॉट नेट सो ऑल दीज आर प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेजेस उसमें कोड लिखा जाता है एंड वो हम कंपाइलर को देते हैं और कंपाइलर उसका ऑब्जेक्ट कोड बनाता है ओके सी यू एंड मी और एक्चुअली द प्रोग्रामर्स कैन रीड दिस एंड अंडरस्टैंड दिस बट कंप्यूटर को ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम को नहीं समझ में आता कि वॉट यू आर सिंग लाइक इफ देर कुड बी सेंटैक्स एज ओपन फाइल so you know that computers not does not understand english statements it understands only the language of zeros and ones so what it does is it takes your code and converts it into object code and then your task is being executed understood next what is the name of operating system that read and reacts in terms of actual time batch system quick response system real time system or time sharing system the correct answer here is real time systems okay actual time aapko samajh mein aa gaya actual real question se hi bhi aap answer bata sakte if you don't know so um these are like where they are being used in air traffic controls network multimedia systems so ye sare some examples hai jahan real time systems ka istemal hota hai okay dynamic behavior isme chahiye hota hai real time what is uh, is going on that is being said by a real time system okay next the first step of 
system development life cycle is development database design system design or preliminary investigation the correct answer here is option d preliminary investigation see friends what happens is there could be a client and he wants something to be done by a programmer so when he will give his information ki okay ye ye aapko ye ye checklist karna hai aise karna hai so the programmer will do higher investigation okay um what are the kind of data is is being need, needed all that investigation that is done before starting working before starting to work on the system or the database or the various designing procedures the first thing is investigation next identify the odd term amongst the following groups microwaves optical fiber coaxial cable twisted pair wire you have to find the odd one out the correct answer here is option a microwave see all these are used for data transmission or these are being used for i hope you guys have given the correct answer okay next fddi is a ring network star network mesh network or bus network which type of network is the correct answer here is ring network okay and the full form of fddi is fiber distrib fiber distributed data interface okay this is being used for data transmission in lan okay fiber distributed data interface used for data transmission in lan okay got it subhanshi next this will provide end to end digital connection for all voice data asimil telemetry and video application pstn isdn sna or cciwt the correct answer here is option d isdn so for those who don't know the full form it is integrated services digital network
and what it is being used for it is it is a set of communication standard for when you have to simultaneously you have to transfer voice video data and other services okay got it next the cancer is being displayed here for this question okay anyways sim stands for everybody has a sim in their mobile phone so this is train that men many might not know the meaning so for them it is subscribers identity module a little sim that is being inserted in your mobile phone it is called subscribers identity module okay in the context of computing and internet identify the correct pair from the following the correct answer here is very simple question tb tb means terabyte terabyte friends see play store is an application where you are able to install other application so it is a type of op application and not a operating system pixel is like your images are uh, consist of tiny pixels so it is not a color enhancing facility and usb is not a, a antivirus it is universal serial bus see when you connect your um, assist uh, mobile phone with your laptop so you use that usb cable right so that that is what usb is the correct answer is a next let led converts everybody these days has led so that the old ones that big televisions have been replaced by lcd leds <coughs> so what it converts light energy to electrical electrical to light thermal energy to light energy mechanical energy into electrical energy the correct answer here is option b electrical energy into light energy okay you even have these tiny um, led lights also you have so what it is it is like led is is a semiconductor light source okay that emits light when electricity is passed to it so what it does is it emits light okay so converts electrical into light energy simple question next an error in a computer is a virus a bug fatal error or power error Okay, one suggestion it would be better if you write question number along with the answer, so it helps me to know in which que question you guys are. Very simple question. The correct answer here is bug. So a uh, error into a computer is a bug. See what happens is sometimes your application or your system or software does not perform as it should perform. understood for instance if there is a system okay there is a software and what it does is it has to produce a report 
so that report has some date and that date like today's 13th of october 2020 so what it does it this actually this current application it omits this okay and it displays date, date as 13 2020 so why is this error coming or why is this problem occurring means it should be actually this 13 10 2020 but it is displaying 13 2020 so how will the person understand whether it is which month so there should be there there will be some error or some problem in the coding the coding that programmers write may be where the date function or the date variable is showing incorrect information so this problem here this is called bug right understood next which of the following is a search engine facebook youtube msn or windows the correct answer here is it is msn so it is a web browser from microsoft remember from m it is a microsoft product friends these question are um, very important from set as well as net so for both examinations this is going to help and these type of questions are being asked currently so just practice practice these and i'm sure you guys can crack your aim or your dream of net or set whatever you have next encryption is coding of messages to prevent unauthorized access coding of computers to prevent unauthorized access creating of barcodes and computer peripherals conversion of hard copy into soft copy okay one thing i would like to tell you what are peripherals friends whatever your system or your computer whatever devices are being attached to it like printer or scanner all these are called peripherals or your mouse or keyboard okay and encryption helps in coding of messages to prevent unauthorized access see what happens is whenever you want to send some confidential information for instance there is some data of there is some data of any companies um there could be some code so it is like um profit okay profit is 1 billion so maybe the people will convert this into something else maybe after p it, p it could use q after r what is the letter s so like this it is it is just going to change your messages so that people doesn't see what the message is because there are so many people in between um, who are looking at the network and trying to figure out what is being transferred and so that they could use the company maybe um, the hackers uh, actually the crackers or the people who want to gain money they could bribe them if you if they get confidential information so for that encryption technique is being used digital signature means a digital code that measures unique physical trait of any device 
mathematical scheme for verifying authenticity of digital messages or document a logo onto website for unique identification or a multi level password used to log in to a unique computer what is digital signature it is a mathematical scheme for identifying the, the authenticity of digital messages or documents what it does is it is like a procedure that guarantees the contents of a message have not been altered like when the message is being transferred digital signature sees that no one who is in between has altered the message or changed the message because the sender wants to send the message as it is why would he want somebody to change the message so for that digital signature is being used what is a unit of information bit byte gram or hertz the unit of information correct answer here is option a bit bit means binary digit friends there is nothing as byte there is something called byte but there is nothing called bite gram you know it is used for weight and hertz is used for frequency which of the following is not a valid version of ms office office xp office vista office 2007 or office 2010 you are being asked here the you know microsoft ms office means microsoft office what we use it for so many things for creating our excel sheets for documents or or our presentations so there are so many things we use for now they are asking which is not a valid version the correct answer here is office vista so office xp is there office 2007 is there and 2010 is there but there is nothing as office vista okay erp is the acronym of a reminder again for writing question number along with the question with the answer actually the correct answer here is enterprise resource planning okay erp full form is erp is full form is enterprise resource planning and it refers to software and system used to plan in okay plan and manage manufacture financial for an organization erp is being used okay it is a business management software okay a suite of integrated application that helps users to store and manage data for their businesses not people like common people we use it 
it is being used in companies and organizations next trojan horse is a software program which provides function within microsoft word a software program designed to detect computer virus application software designed to enhance the quality of an information system or a software program that appears legitimate but contains hidden function that cause damage what is a trojan horse the correct answer here is option d a software program that appears see sometimes you might be downloading some file and uh, you you want to download some software or application so what happens is you just go in the in on the internet and you just download it it looks like the software is authentic or correct or it is for your use but it contains hidden function that cause damage maybe there is some kind of coding into that software that could harm maybe the coding is delete the files that are present in your system so that is the work of trojan horse it is as harmful there are so many other things other soft programs that are harmful that like viruses worms and one is trojan trojan horse next binary system of numbers use only the correct answer is option b zeros and ones we know that computers understand only binary language like you and me we understand so many we understand english hindi our mother tongue our our regional languages but computer understands only the language of zeros and ones whatever we are writing here it won't understand it it will convert it and then understand next the ability of an operating system to run more than one application at a time is called multi user multitasking multi sharing object oriented programming very simple question question mein hi answer hai the correct answer is multitasking because it is performing multiple tasks in wifi fi stands for final finish firewall fidelity the correct answer is let me know option d wi fidelity because wifi means wireless fidelity see many people use this term wifi all the time is they might not know the meaning for them very important information and combination of sound video text graphics and animation is called multi program multi process multi facet or multimedia the correct answer here is multimedia where it combines your text audio images animation into a single presentation for example your slide show or your powerpoint presentation i would like to say you might be making powerpoint presentation in your colleges and schools so what you do is you combine everything you write text you put your audio also image also some animation and also also so that is example of multimedia cd rom is a semiconductor memory magnetic memory transistor memory memory of organic material the correct answer is semiconductor memory cd rom means compact disk read only memory
you could they could also ask you the full form of cd rom so very important bar code stores information using punch holes thick and thin lines dots or lines of different colors correct answer is option b you might see behind the object or when you buy something there are barcodes in it so some thin lines thick lines there is this various combination so that is a barcode a group of people has access to computers and internet while another group does not have access the difference between the two groups is known as the correct answer here is question number with answer that would be very help, helpful for everyone the correct answer is option a digital divide because you need you know that we are talking about digital india and the digitalization of things but there are so many people or ur urban areas and rural areas see there are many places where people do not have access to in to the internet how are they going to use the internet facility even if you are in introducing so many online courses we have but because there is no access or internet connection problem there is this divide that is known as digital divide group of instructions that direct a computer is called the correct answer here is program so what do programmers do they write programs which is set of instructions that perform a particular task okay set of instructions and which perform something some task transistors are associated with correct answer here is so we have different generation of computers friends you know in ICT, we we also have types of computers. So the classification of computers is based on many different, like generation. So you might think, what is the meaning of first generation, second generation? It means when there is distinguishing on the basis of hardware. Okay, when hardware of the system is changed, there there is difference of like in the first generation computers, vacuum tubes were used. Okay, so like that uh, later on transistors were used, ICs were used, all these different hardwares were used. So now they are saying transistors are associated with which generation? The correct answer here is second generation of computers. Okay, they what are they saying here? Just read the sign. A transistor computer, now often called second generation computer, computer, is a computer which uses discrete transistor instead of vacuum tubes. So in the first vacuum tubes were used, then the later modified it enhanced it and used started using transistors instead of vacuum tubes okay. what is the full form of ftp they are asking here it is file transfer protocol used to share file word processing spreadsheet and photo editing are examples of It is application software. Then application softwares are those that help you perform a particular time of task. Okay. 
operating system it manages all your computers booting and various other tasks resource allocation and all but application software it is used for doing particular task okay i think this question is being repeated okay i'll directly give the answer it is option a tv is equals to it's a memory storage device okay i'm afraid this question is being repeated so please sorry for that okay dot dat is a word file deleted file data file or driver file is a data file data files uh, is just a computer file that stores data to be used by computer application or system okay next the term broadband is associated with fm radio wireless communication internet or telegraphic communication the correct answer here is internet in terms of cost and time which of the following is the most economical form of international communication the correct answer here is email or electronic mail this is the fastest of all which of the following domains is used for profit businesses the correct answer here is option c dot com com here means for commercial purposes Okay, this is for educational purposes, for networking, for organizations. But dot com is used for co commercial purposes. Okay. The term DTH is used in the context of use of computer to anal for data analysis. electronic hearing aid direct transmission of diagnostic or use of satellite for television transmission dth okay let me know the correct answer here is use of satellite for television transmission dth means a direct to home so people these days they have dish tv and tata sky all these are dth services okay uh, there was also a question recently that when was dth service started so even that kind of questions can come friends next the third generation computers made use of biochips transistors integrated circuits or vacuum tubes
generation of computers when the computers are distinguished on on the basis of hardware it is called generation like you have uh, micro micro computer mini computer they are based on the basis of size and functionality okay and on the basis of signals we have analog computers digital computers hybrid computers so when we are talking about various generation of computers the distinguishion or the difference is on the basis of hardware the correct answer is option c ic's remember in first generation we used vacuum tubes this terminology is important just remember these then we used transistors in the second generation and in the third we are using or we used ICs. Which of the following is not a computer language? Basic, COBOL, Lotus, or Fortran? The correct answer here is Lotus. It is not a programming language. Okay, these are various programming languages. Fortran means formula transmission. It is one of the oldest programming languages. Next. Twitter is generally used for secret information sharing, electronic mailing, interpersonal communication or social networking. The correct answer is option D. Social networking, we all know. It is our option D. Somebody has marked electronic mailing and interpersonal communication. For those see electronic mailing, we don't use printers for emails. And interpersonal communication is communication with two people. While when you see Twitter, what happens is in Twitter, a person writes a tweet and it is being seen by thousands of people okay thousands or lakhs of people are watching it and then replying to it so that is also kind of communication and interpersonal happens only between two people got it so this is the wrong option the correct answer is d in a virtual class a teacher's physical presence is not needed presence is necessary, principal physical presence is necessary or student's physical presence is not necessary. The correct answer is option A. Teacher's physical presence is not needed. dot doc is a word file picture file deleted file or driver file the correct answer here is a word file dot doc document file it means Used for documents. In a computer term terminology which has highest or largest data capacity, it is option D, TB, terabyte, which is equals to 1024 gigabyte. So actually first we have uh, highest is TB, then GB, then MB and then TB. Kilobyte. Skype is used for social networking, interpersonal communication, virtual classroom or actual classroom. The correct answer here is option B, interpersonal communication. So the, here they are saying usually friends. Although in for Skype, 
even multiple people can also communicate but most often it is used for communication between two people statistical tables can be generally generated on the correct answer here is option b excel on spreadsheets it can be created on the basis of structure and function identify the odd one out from the following so if you uh, see linkedin all this is used for like networking myspace is also a social networking site facebook is the is one of the most famous social networking sites but the correct answer is option b gmail because it is used to send electronic mails while the other is used for social networking got it in the context of internet what is the form of url it is option a uniform resource locator you might have seen on the address bar we write https slash 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 colon and then we write www dot abc dot com so all that is url it is the address of a web resource or web page which of the following software is used to process and analyze quantitative data quantitative data means when it is associated with numbers okay the correct answer is option b sps means statistical package for social sciences it is used for statistical analysis okay so it was produced by this company but then ibm has acquired it or purchased it and now it is being called as as ibm spss so for statistical analysis infibnet is research protocol learning resource protocol educational network or information library network correct answer here is option d information library network so it is like a repository for academic hosting services for academic libraries got it and the full form is information and library network okay in an internet world computer connected to internet are identified by the correct answer is ip address or internet protocol address so you might have seen this like 112.32. Dot, like this in this number so this is uh, i've just given some random ex example so this is ip address and it is used to distinguish all the devices uniquely okay in it act 2000 which sections deals with terrorist uh, punishment of cyber terrorism this question was asked recently in our september net examination fifth 
फ्रेश क्वेश्चन द करेक्ट आंसर हियर इज सिक्सटी सिक्स एफ सो फॉर इट डील्स विथ ऑफेंस ऑफ साइबर टेररिज्म they say that whoso commits cyber terrorism shall be punishable with imprisonment okay you could be jailed if you do some cyber crime identify the incorrect from the following dot ttf dot wav they are saying audio file font file this is jpg's graphic file dot exe's exclusive data file the incorrect pair is option d exe it is not exclusive it is executable and it is standard file extension for micro windows programs okay when you download some soft uh, software what you do is you start this is exe file you just double click on it and then you okay install it it is an executable file and not exclusive data file while these this is a font file this is audio file jpg very famous joint picture expert group find the correct pair from the following the correct answer here is option b megabyte is a multiple of unit byte for digital information okay and it has 1 million bytes the principle that internet service provider and government regulators should treat all data on internet as the same of same importance and not discriminate on charge or charge differently by user content website is called on options are digital equality digital democracy net priority or net neutrality they are saying that internet service provider and reg government regulators should treat all data on internet as same means they should not discriminate by okay this person is they are treating persons as they are giving priority so that is that should not be happen that is called net neutrality neutral means same or it is not going to be in favor on or for someone net neutrality is a principle that isp must treat all internet communications equally okay and not differentiate on the basis of user website platform so so that is net neutrality don't forget okay now you have to arrange this in chronological order of internet facility see chronological means arranging with time means which who came first jaise jo jis year mein develop hua hai uske according aapko arrange karna hai the correct answer here is option d see amazon came in early, early 90s and then google came in around 1998 facebook came in around 2004 early 90s means uh, somewhere around 1992 snapchat it has come recently most recent so chronological order means who came first that will come first so from these option the correct answer is d
identify the correct pair from the following. The correct answer here is Google. So this is Sergey Brin. He is a software engineer and he has founded Google. Okay. Founder of Google. The first page displayed on web browser after opening a website is called home page. You might have seen a little button like this. Some sometimes on the website you click on it. That is the home page. The full form of IoT is correct answer is option D, Internet of Things. It is a system of interrelated computing devices, mechanical and digital machines, objects, people, animals that provide unique identifiers. And what it do, does is human to human and human to computer interaction. See, sometimes what uh, happens is if some someone has some replacement in the heart, some device is in, installed inside the heart. So, all that interaction between that little device in the heart with the other system, that is that all that comes in Internet of Things. A digital signature is called digitally scanned signature handwritten signature, encrypted information or verbally communicated message. The correct answer here is encrypted information. So what it does is it is used to validate the authenticity and integrity of a message, software or digital document. Okay. Yeah, someone is saying that URL phone form Maya tha net paper mein. Yeah, see, abbreviations are like one of the favorites of net and set examinations. They often ask it, and from basically from ICT perspective, abbreviations are must. So even GIF was asked in one of the examinations, graphic interchangeable format. So all these come in the examination. Where does the computer add and compare its data? CPU, memory, hard disk or floppy disk? The correct answer here is CPU because CPU has ALU. CPU means central processing unit and it uses arithmetic and logical unit to compare data. Okay. Arithmetic unit and logical unit. So all these are being used for comparing and adding data. For arithmetic, actually this is used for arithmetic operations. While logic unit is used for logical operations mind, like comparing less than and greater than equals to and arithmetic is used for arithmetic operations. Bandwidth of data communication is the measure of its data, physical dimension, transmission capacity, electrical parameter or physical strength the correct answer here is transmission capacity and it is defined as a bit rate measure for transmission capacity over a network communication system okay carrying capacity of the channel is called bandwidth
so this is one very different question what is the full form of virus in the field of computer this would be very interesting because many people use this word and they don't know the meaning of the full form of virus what do you think is the answer The correct answer here is option B vital information resource under SAGE. So, what do you know about virus? See, virus are those programs that can that have the capacity or the potential of making multiple copies of itself and they could harm your computer in different ways if they could de delete file modify files and they can harm in n number of ways so it is vital information resource under sage okay So now you have to match the items of list 1 with list 2. See, Buddha Dev Kumar has asked a question. Uh, I believe that the question is incomplete or something. So, I'm not sure about the answer. CPU is based on CPU hard disk extension board. So, not very sure of the question. Now, you have to see in this question, they, they are actually asking who has, who is the founder of this word or the language or the hard disk that is given. Or, or actually the disk that they are talking about the correct answer is option D with Mimex Vanuver Bush is associated with netizen we actually have here option 1 okay then floppy disk you have this Japanese person Yoshiro Nakamatsu and C++ programming Bijan Stoutstrap. So all these are the persons that are associated with the term that is given here. And what is netizen that I would like to hear tell you? A user on internet. Like you and me, whenever we serve our computers, we are called as netizen. Okay. One who gains unauthorized access destroys vital data, denies legitimate user services or call, causes problems for their target is called white hat hackers, crackers, programmers or database administrator. So this is the person who gains unauthorized. Unauthorized means you do not have the authority to get access to it and what he does is 
he destroys information or data denies legitimate uh, legitimate user service it means that a person who who should have the access to the system this is a person a he should be able to log in so what it does is a cracker actually the answer to this question is option b so what cracker does is a person like a who is who has the access to log in into the system but he denies he does some programming because of which a legitimate user or a legal user is not able to access the services and what he does is he actually breaks into the network system and what he wants to do is yahan kya keh rahe hain there are various reasons why for crackers to work is for malicious activities means like they would want to gain some information for profit and they could also just take it for a challenge some people you might have seen some people who take it as a challenge okay i want to break into the network of this organization so all those people are called crackers right computer tool just such as word excel and powerpoint are products owned by which companies intel apple microsoft or google the correct answer here is option c microsoft because you you might have have heard of ms word we say ms word usually we say we say ms excel all these are associated with microsoft computers which offer information are called dash and which seek information are called the correct answer is option a the one that offers information for instance like um, if you are surfing something on the internet so you are the client you want some you type on the web browser google.com so that information is fetched by the server the client wants the information he will say google.com and the server will provide the web page so this task is being done by the server email addresses in dash field are visible to all recipients email addresses in dash are visible to only one recipient the correct answer to this question is two and bcc field are visible to all recipients to and cc friends the meaning of cc is carbon copy and email addresses in bcc are are visible only to the recipient choose the best option an antivirus program is designed to dash computer virus so what is the task of an antivirus program or the software identify and eliminate scan device and identify scan device identify and eliminate or scan device and eliminate the correct answer here is option c it will scan the device it will find out the problem and will eliminate it so you might have we, we have so many antivirus we have norton we have quick scan so 
those are antiviruses it is also called anti malware what it does is it prevents detects and remove all this malware okay a dash is a computer program that spreads by inserting copies of itself into other executable codes or documents OS computer virus firewall or antivirus very simple question the correct answer is option D computer virus because when see there is one distinguishing difference between a virus and a worm is for virus whichever file has that virus you need to first execute it only then the virus be, will be able to replicate it but worms it does not require human intervention it directly gets transmitted to the network so computer virus it does multiple copies of, of itself. First cyber law which provides legal infrastructure for e-commerce in India is the correct answer here is option B so the IT Act 2000, it is a pr primary law in India dealing with cyber crime and electronic commerce. Okay, for cyber crime as well as electronic commerce. Which is not a cyber crime? Phishing. Cyber stalking, identity theft, or online chatting. Okay, the correct answer here is online chatting because it is not a cyber crime. See, phishing means sometimes it happens is you, you get so many emails on the internet and it says important information or urgent information, something like that they would say. And what they will help get you, they'll make you They, they are like actually frauds and uh, they could attempt to gain sensitive information from your system. Okay. Stalking means you like you are like after someone. So that is stalking. At the time of posing an email, composing an email, we have three options. 2 CC and BCC. What is the meaning of BCC? The correct answer is option A blind carbon copy. Sometimes what happens is you want to, uh, an organization wants to send a message to like thousands of people. So what they do is they make a list and they put it in BCC so that it is able to send bulk of emails. Okay. At the time of downloading from the internet, some files may be compressed form having extensions .zip .tar.
actually it is jar j a r okay the correct answer here is all of these all of these are compressed file extensions okay so compressed file is a sort of archive that contains more than one file when the file is like very big 25 mb or like 35 you must say mb so we compress it and decrease the size and then you transfer it so it becomes easy for sender as well as the receiver then what happens is the receiver he or she decompresses the file and then you can use it so all these are types of compressed files learning online through internet is known as e teaching chatting e learning or video conferencing the correct answer here is e learning e learning is a structured structured course or learning experience delivered electronically like what is happening here now the education that you are gaining here that is also e learning so it could be pre recorded like lectures many people upload lectures and then you can view at a later time the videos like that you see on global online university quizzes that we conduct so all these are e learning which was the world's first successful electronic computer this is a param is a kind of super computer in india first super computer of india the correct answer is eniac okay it was the first programmable electronic general purpose digital computer okay the question is asking first successful electronic computer and i would like to also tell you the full form of this it is electronic okay hope you guys got this right which of the following is correct definition of wan or wide area network the correct answer here is okay we want just let's read out the options first they are saying it's a programming language this option is eliminated it is not a language it is a collection of computers in connected with each other through tables to share data information on common hardware resources just let's read the other first a computer network that covers a broad area whose communication links across metropolitan regional and national boundaries or they're saying computer network covering a small physical area like home office the correct answer here is option c see because it they are saying cross metropolitan means it covers usually a city or more than a city so that is where we use wan or wide area network 
next windows is an example of os hardware desktop or none of the above the correct answer here is option a operating system it is one of the most famous operating system developed by microsoft okay to run personal computers so we have so many versions of windows windows vista windows xp windows 7 windows 10 all those are kind of operating system which of the following is an application software compiler operating system ms office or none of the above the correct answer here is ms office so application softwares are used for end user by end users to complete tasks MS Office, they are saying like you are using it to make a document or presentation. So when you are using some software for particular purposes like antivirus. Antivirus is also an application software. And software used for backing up files. That are also application software. So here MS Office, this suit, MS Office suit which contains Outlook, PowerPoint, Word. That is an application software. Which of the following is an in input device? Plotter, printer, monitor or scanner? The correct answer here is Option D, scanner. When you are giving some input to the CPU okay it could be an image or voice so when you are giving that to the system then it's called a input device it could be keyboard also even keyboard is an input device your mouse and joystick all those are input devices which of the following is an antivirus software java tally norton or none of the above the correct answer here is norton we just recently also few minutes back we saw a question on antivirus so what antivirus does is it scans the device identify and then eliminate the malware java is a programming language Tally is an accounting software and this was developed by TCS, Data Consultancy Services, while Norton it is an antivirus software. The software which allows you to view the web page is called Website, web browser, interpreter, or operating system. Okay, someone is saying that the video is very helpful. Thank you so much. See, our main aim for you is to clear your target examination. So, our videos are there to help you. So, let's read this question first surface which allows you to view the web page is a web browser 
do not confuse this with website friends don't confuse this is it with website because they are asking about software okay website is not a software when you want to gain some access on the internet from a particular page you go to the web browser to fetch information okay m ram stands for this question was asked in net this year not actually directly it asked question on what is m ram whether it is volatile or non volatile few weeks ago this question was asked the correct answer here is option a magneto resistive ram one thing you want you have to remember that usually m ram random access memory is a volatile volatile memory okay but m ram it is a kind of non volatile memory which stores data in magnetic domain so this is very important question this could be repeated you know that there are many questions that are being repeated so m ram is non volatile remember friends which memory storage is widely used in pcs and embedded system s ram d ram flash memory or eprom the correct answer here is d ram so s ram means static random access memory and d ram means dynamic dynamic random access memory okay next now here they are asking the full form of eprom electronically erasable programmable read only memory electrically erasable electrically enabled programmable read only memory or electronically enabled programmable read only memory the correct answer here is option b electrically erasable programmable read only memory okay it is also a type of non volatile memory like we had m ram magneto resistive ram like that even this is a non volatile memory utility programs include disk fragmenter virus scanning software backup software or all of the above what is the utility program okay i'll write here programs that help you analyze configure and maintain also it helps you to optimize your computer's data utility programs it helps you manage your computer better so if all of these are utility programs when you want to divide the disk space we use disk fragmenter for virus scanning software like antivirus software backup when you want to take backup of your files or your system those systems so all of these are utility program 
and the answer is D. Data integrity refers to privacy of data, security of data, validity of data or simplicity of data. The correct answer here is Option C, validity of data. So, integrity means consistency of data or validity of data that the data should be the same in the whole life cycle of it should be same everywhere. Okay, like if there are two tables and of here you have customer details and customer order. So maybe here you are writing your customer name and customer ID. ID and all the various details of customer like age and everything. Here you have order, order ID, you have customer name. So if you, they are saying that if you change the name here associated with customer ID, then your name should be changed here also for the particular user. Got it? That is data integrity. Who is the inventor of World Wide Web? The correct answer here is option B. Tim Berners-Lee. He invented it in 1989. He is an English scientist. Okay. Tim Berners-Lee is the answer. Remember? That match the following could be asked from match the following is being asked a lot these days. So for them, they could also give you an option like uh, name of other inventors. Like recently you saw a question on C++. So that was introduced by Banjar Stroudstrup. Here they could say also say Tim Berners-Lee. Then you will have to match it with www. So like this, they could ask you. Okay, they could also give you like the founder of uh, Microsoft. They could give you Bill Gates here. So all these they could ask match the following. So you don't think that okay this question if you don't remember what will happen. You could also lose mass marks on similar questions. So this makes it very important. In the context of computer security, hackers are also known as black hat hackers, white hat hackers. Elite hackers or script kiddy. What are crackers known as? Okay, here they are asking about. We have seen one question on this earlier as well. The answer is blight black hat hackers. So this is a person who attempts to find computer security vulnerability and exploit them for personal financial gain. When they are they want to use they want to gain information from the network or the system. Who who does this? He is called a black hat hacker. Okay, remember that black is usually a negative word sometimes. And white is for P, so you could remember that ways. Next. Ethernet is an example of man, LAN or VAN. 
मेट्रोपोलिटन एरिया नेटवर्क लोकल एरिया नेटवर्क वाइड एरिया नेटवर्क और वायरलेस फिडेलिटी द करेक्ट आंसर हियर इज ऑप्शन डी लैन तो इथरनेट क्या है इट इज अ लैन टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इट इज इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड इंप्लीमेंट एंड मेंटेन क्वाइट कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव नेटवर्क इंप्लीमेंटेशन simple question which is not an operating system unix java oracle or ms office in this question java is your programming language your oracle is a database ms office is your utility software and unix is an operating system it is actually a multi user operating system okay the backup of uh, many banking systems is based on use unix basically they are used for servers workstations okay like you have windows so they are usually used for personal computers and all but unix they are used for multi user when multiple user wants to gain access to a single computer it is called multi user computer the internet protocol address of each computer is Unique, same, continuous, or structured. Internet protocol address or IP address. It is unique. Please don't read this information. So IP address is unique. Every system has its own IP address. every system which of the following is extremely fast small memory between cpu and main memory the correct answer here is cache memory so what it is very fast memory between your cpu and main memory or you could say ram so here sits cache memory so they are saying a supplementary memory system that temporarily stores frequently used instructions so which are being frequently used it stores that information at it and it is able to give you quick access okay and even this is an expensive memory than ram okay which is not an example of storage device cd dvd loop pattern or hard disk the correct answer here is loop pattern because this is not a storage device while you see cd means compact disk digit dvd means digital versatile disk hard disk you know we have in our systems that store information while loop pattern is is not a storage device dash is the smallest and fastest memory ram rom cache or hard drive it is cache memory it is the memory between your cpu and main memory or ram which temporarily stores data okay 
first supercomputer of India is The correct answer here is option C Param. It is derived from the Sanskrit word supreme. So uh, the Sanskrit word is Param, in which uh, means supreme in English, and it is also the short form of parallel machine. This is the short form. It was developed in Pune. India. It is the first supercomputer. Okay, supercomputers actually perform billions of instructions in a second. Billion instructions per second. Okay, that's it. Lastly, I would like to tell that uh, we have launched our All India Online Test Series where we provide you 2000 MCQs in the form of 40 full syllabus tests. You can assess your preparation, boost your score. You can download, download the PDFs of this test. The first test is free. Whosoever wants to come and see how the test is for them, it is free. The link will be present in the description box. You can alternatively join a paid WhatsApp group. We will provide you all the tests here as well. You, What you have to do is just drop a WhatsApp message on the number on, on the screen. After you pay $2.99, we'll give you the access to the test, the syllabus to it, the solution. You can also do discussions and queries. And most importantly, you will be in direct contact with the net educators. So that's it from me. Also, one more thing that if you want to get at PDFs from Global Online University from our channel, you can join our channel and we provide you the PDFs of it. Okay. Thank you all for coming into this session. If you have any suggestion or queries, please write it down in the comment section. And we'll be replying to it. Anything that you want to tell? Okay, that's it. We'll meet again with our next video. If you want some specific topics to be covered, please write it down. And we'll try to cover them for you all. Okay, all the best. Bye.